So, I recently discovered that New World will have player has, which is one of my favorite aspects of MMOs. And in today's video, I wanted to go over how it works. So, in a turnum, every settlement will have a variety of houses that are available to you. And multiple players can acquire the same physical home uh, location, but they will only be able to see their property and decor unless they are visiting another player's house. So, the, the houses are like actually in the open world. But, the, for each individual player, the housing is like instance, at least in terms of like how the house looks. But yeah, players will be able to uh, invite their friends to their house. However, they will only be able to invite up to five people, which kind of sucks, but hey, at least it's- So in order to be eligible to purchase a house, you must first raise your standing within that settlement's territory. And to raise your standing in the territory that you want to live in. It is important to get involved in the daily activities of that territory, such as, uh, you know, killing creatures or completing action missions or working on town projects and crafting items. And once you have reached a high enough standing level and your character has reached level 20, you can unlock the ability to have a home in that territory settled. And if you want more than one house, you could do that too, but only if you meet the requirements or getting a house in the territory that you want it in. Also, if the territory has the maximum number of houses already, you won't be able to get a house. But if it doesn't, then you can. Now, as for housing variety, there will be quite a lot. Houses can range in size, features, and cost. And some houses overlook the center of town, while others have balconies with nice views over the settlement walls. Um, some houses even have exterior areas for decoration while others simply feature a front or back porch. There are a variety of locations and styles to choose from in each set. The settlements themselves also have a distinct aesthetic with a house design and floor plans specific to that setup. And as expected, players will be able to, you know, personalize their homes. Uh, once you've settled into your new home, you can personalize your space. Uh, the developers have added Hundreds of items for people to customize their houses with. Uh, everything from, you know, like tables and chairs and, uh, you know, statues and paintings and all that cool stuff. Not to mention, like, ornaments and, you know, other stuff. And all this stuff can be crafted by players as well. And also purchased by, uh, NPCs. Although, there are some items that can be found, uh, only by exploring a looting world. And on your adventures in the Aeternum, you can uh, even find pets to bring home with you, which I really like, because, you know, pets are cool. So, there will be upkeeping in the world for your house, and you'll have to pay taxes to the company that owns the settlement your house is in, and of course, if you don't pay them, you'll be evicted. Um, it will stop mechanics like a house recall and trophy buffs from being functional to you. You know, which trophy buffs are a thing. Basically, you can find trophies out in the world, like, you know, from, like, animals that you kill, or creatures that you kill, or whatever, and these trophies will have certain buffs, you know, and you can put the trophy in your house, and when you go in your house, the trophy will give you that buff, which is pretty cool. I haven't actually seen a game that does that yet, so that's... So even though you have been evicted from your house, you can still visit your decorated house while the property tax is unpaid, but you can't rearrange your decorations, nor will you be able to, uh, you know, display stuff in the house, so. But, uh, you know, once you have, once you do have a house, you'll be able to use it as a recall point. Um, you know, Aeternum is a very big place, and the ability to recall home over a great distance is really... And not only will there be character buffs, uh, but there's also, like, social benefits as well. Uh, for example, uh, when you pass through a settlement, you can see homes decorated by other players. And to determine which home other players see, by default, there is a competition behind the scenes. By decorating your house expertly and earning lots of territory standing, your house gets shown off to everyone that comes through a settlement who does not have the same house as you. You can even see where you stand against other players that have the same house through the housing menu so you know who's your competition. So, like I said, like, the houses will be, you know, open world, but like, but like, uh, you know, it's gonna be instance. It's gonna be like a mixture, it's gonna be a hybrid of open world and instance, so. So yeah, it seems like they're, uh, doing a lot with player housing in this game, which is always nice to see. 
like I said, player has one of my most favorite aspects of MMOs because, uh, you know, it just adds so much to the world and, you know, it's, just, it's really, it's really fun to mess around with. But, uh, yeah, that's all player housing works in, uh, New World. And, uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, you know, guys, as always, if you like the video, uh, make sure to leave a like, and if you really like the video, make sure to drop a sub. Alright, my name is Shamario, and I am on here.